But what if? I know a man, poor blacksmith's son that fought at Chancellorsville and Gettysburg, who after the war formed a Sunday school for the children of former slaves. And he sang with them and taught them to sing. And then they taught him to sing. And when the songs of their people passed into his soul, he knew their power to heal. One night, as he faced the stars with voices on the wind, a choir of voices said to him, Our suffering is not in vain. And whether he was in his body or out of body, God knows. But they showed him a great temple built on their songs. And its bricks were fired with blood and dust as it towered over nations, bringing forth songs of hope. And they said, God promised Jubilee. And Jubilee Hall is a beacon to that promise. And take our songs to the world. And let us sing to the earth as we have sung to you. And then the people will lay those bricks. What happened? Well, with stars in his eyes and songs in his hand, he set sail for distant lands with the love of his heart, Laura. She was gravely ill. But he convinced her that the trip would cure her. Killed her. With enough of the stars and love, he returned to ridicule to bury her, bury his delusions. He fled it all for a desk. But what if their suffering was not in vain? Those who braved slavery's curse. What if, as perfume is pressed from precious roses, God has lifted from their wounds a salve to heal, inspire, and to lift up. What if these anthems of hope that brought them through so much darkness could light up the world? You mean sing the spirituals for... For every soul, everywhere. Some of those souls put us in chains. Some want us dead. Some of them... What if there is no them? Every man is a slave to some darkness. Beneath our fears and fury, our pain and rage, don't we all hunger for healing? What if our songs could be our swords to break the chains of hate and set captive and captor free? And make hate mongers Peacemakers, the world over. I can't go back to those songs. They're songs of defeat. They are songs of jubilee. It's blood music. And that is why I run to it. These blood-soaked hymns bathe me in the faith and courage of your mothers and fathers. You shed their blood. And you trample it. You leave their legacy to the mockery of minstrels. Redeem their suffering. Get these songs out of blackface and put it into the hearts of people. Let us give America her true music and the world what it is really hungry for.